the next episode of the Boss Mannerism Producer and Artist Showcase. Don't mind my hand, just had a cutting accident. Um, but yeah, so this first producer is called Unexpected, and this beat is called Morocco. Yeah, um, this is pretty good. Um, I recommend that uh, you got to make sure unexpected that your 808s are on key. I can hear them. Some of them are not on key. I like the drum pattern though. It's fire as well as the melody, right? The melody is really good. Um, the beat isn't clipping. Good job on that. Make sure that the beat break because I heard when the beat actually breaks that uh, it comes on too quick. Like I thought it was gonna be more time of the break that you stop before the beat drop back again um, from the silence. Uh, just make sure it's on time. You can even put your metronome on like while you're doing the break so that you come back on the beat on time. So um, I'd say the only thing is that the 808s need to be on key and, and make sure that beat break that you did is on time. But other than that, the melody is fire, the drum pattern is fire. I like the 808 drum pattern, how you like do, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Uh, how you selected the pattern itself, but just make sure they're on key. Well, good job, man. I saw that you put your Instagram down there for your 50 second promo. This is Day and this is called New Work 2. But I love it though.
got some nice melodies. You got some really nice melodies, man. And I always said your drum patterns are really good. They're 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 um just how you do your kicks. They do do do. It got a different feel from how I make my beats. So I like the difference. And um, I like your 808s. Um, they're on key. Nice melodies. Just make sure you switch up the pattern. I saw Adam said just change the 808 pattern. That's what I'm thinking. Change it up a little bit or change the beat up a little because it was a little bit too repetitive. So you got to make sure you switch it up a little bit. Um, but I like the snare rolls and I like uh, everything you did. The beat was good. Um, yeah, man. Go ahead and put your Instagram down there. Um, Bartek says it's a fire beat. Go ahead and put your Instagram down there for 15 seconds. And the next person we have is Bartek. Bartek seems to be the last person. So if that's the last person we got, then we're just going to end it off early. Um, all right. So let me go ahead and download this. All right, so this is produced by Bartek, and this beat is called uh, Chief Keef Type Beat. tell that this beat sounds really good but you got to turn it up it's way too low and you always make fire beat so i already like i can tell it already sounds fire it just needs to be turned up it's a little too low Let me see what I could do. Matter of fact, let me just, I'm gonna put it on my FL studio and just turn it up. But make sure you guys turn it up next time. I'm not gonna really be doing this and taking it out and do all this extra stuff, but we gonna just do it this time. Let me see. I could turn this up. Let's put a limiter on here. I don't know where your ceiling was, so turn it up. Appreciate that, man. I'm 
glad I can help. I got more what I got more one shots coming too. I have like I was just making new ones for a whole bunch of them. So I have like five or six, but I need to finish them though. But I got some more coming. And more drum kits too. I like the 808, even though Adam is saying that. But and it could be from how I did the limiter and stuff, so but um yeah, I mean, you can add more bass. You can use our bass. You can use the limiter on just the 808. I mean, there's tons of different options. Yeah, man, that was pretty good, man. Um, I would say uh, just make sure you turn it up. Definitely. Um, but that was pretty good. <laughs> I guess the only thing I would say is turn it up. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah, our bass. I used to use, I have the plugin still. I just haven't used it in a minute. I just use limiter, fruity limiter, turn up the bass. But our bass is very useful, definitely. Um, but yeah, man, that was pretty good. Go ahead and drop your Instagram down there for your 15-second uh, promo. If you guys have a YouTube too, I don't mind you putting your YouTube. I've seen people put in their YouTubes and stuff as well. That's fine with me. That doesn't bother me. Instagram, YouTube are pretty much together. And I want people to go to your YouTube too. Um, yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I used to use it. It actually is really good. Um, but yeah, guys. Are you about to get another drum kit, man? I appreciate that. And by the way, the drum kits there, are, they're not EQ'd yet. But you see how my one shots were EQ'd? I'm going to make sure all the rest of my one shots, that every one shot I drop out will be EQ'd. As well as every drum kit in the future. Um, that's good that you use no paid plugins. But I mean, there are some good paid ones, but that's good. I feel you. Um, but yeah, the drum kits are going to be um, EQ'd as well all the stuff should be eq'd so it's going to be eq'd excuse me and um so you know how i don't really do the melody loops because the melody loops man it, it's just like as soon as if you sell six loops it's very simple if you sell someone six loops the melody pack and they place with all seven of those with a major artist that literally means that everybody else after they've already placed and copywritten it it will come up as a copyright claim on YouTube. You're going to get sued. So then once one person places or a few people place or seven people place those seven things in the melody pack, then you're just ripping off people personally. And I don't want to do that to you guys or anybody. That's just a rip off at that point because, you know, they can't place it literally. Um, and if they sell it and somebody places it, they're in trouble. So I don't I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't like that personally. So. I, I'm thinking of possibly doing like, um, I'm thinking of possibly doing like hi-hat midis though. I don't mind doing hi-hat uh, midi loops um, on how to make midis for collabs. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. I've, I've done it. I think I've done it before. I'm definitely going to, that's a good idea. I'll keep that in mind to make midis. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put on my Instagram, guys, on my story. What other what videos do you want to see? Take advantage of that, because when I see that on my Instagram, I'm telling you, that's where I put everything. That's when I write it down. That's when I write it down. So when I go on Instagram and say, what videos you want tutorials you want to see next? Answer, you know, because that that helps me to help you guys as well. Um, but yeah, I don't mind putting giving y'all hi hat loops and stuff like that. That's fine. I don't care. You could take the hi hat loops because if I and what I'm gonna do is I, I'll give them to you as audios, audio files. I can give you MIDI ones too. That way, when you put it in to any hi hat sound you have, it'll go on your piano roll and you can change it. So I don't really care. You know what I mean? It's you can I give it to you and meaning in the sense of if you place with it. Um, if you place with it, it's up to you. I mean, hi hat loops are useful. I've used them back in the day. I just know how to do them now. Some people don't, and it solves. It makes your life and made my life a lot easier when I didn't know um, how to actually do the hi hats properly and make proper some good hi hats. There are people who are very in the game, beginning of the game, and that would, it was useful to me. Um, yeah, I know, but there's other people who don't know how to do that. That's what I'm saying. It's it helped me when I didn't know how to do it. So 
I would de I'm definitely going to make that because there are people I keep like getting messages, people that really want to learn. And um, just these little hi-hat loops would at least put them in the right direction and stuff like that. Um, drum loops and stuff? Not really. I mean, because you could just easily do that. The hi-hat loops is cool because you can make them all crazy sounding and stuff, sounding and stuff. But, you know, now I get what you're saying, Adam, you know, but me, I'm, I'm helping people. My brand is to make beats go live, make my own beats, te uh, help people make beats one on one where they see my screen on Zoom and I'm live on FL with them. That's what I do. That's just who, that's the nature of what I do it all the time. When I have clients, that's what I'm talking about. So I like I, I'm reaching people who are advanced and helping them versus people who, who just came to mix and math versus people who don't know anything. So I got to keep an open mind and remember that I was there and just, you know, so, you know, there are people, there are people. But all right, y'all, I'll see you guys. I'm actually going to um, put this the question up on Instagram and say, what videos would you guys like to see next on my YouTube channel or what uh, tutorials or something like that? Answer that for me and that will be the time I could write them down and I'm going to start attacking more videos, um, you know, so yeah, just uh, I'm going to put that up probably like five, ten minutes on my Instagram story. That's the time to write what you want and I got y'all. Remember things, I'm, I'm getting them all done so, you know, I want to speed up definitely. So I'm going to try to drop more video. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, but all right. Um, I'll see you guys later.